guys, my name is Tessa Lakela and welcome back to my channel. So last week I did a makeup look so you kind of got to see what makeup I use and you got a very slight glimpse into my skincare. So and I've also mentioned previously that I have acne and I'm being treated for it. So I figured that this week I would show you guys what products I use on my face while dealing with the atrocity that is acne. So I figured before we actually get into the video, I might just give you a bit of backstory about my acne issues. So I never really had hectic skin problems. I get, you know, that one pimple that time of the month. And then last year I noticed that okay, I'm getting these really tiny pimples, but it was nothing major. So I didn't really worry about it. And then towards the end of the year, beginning of 2018, my skin was getting really bad to the point where people, like my own family was like, uh, why do you have so many pimples? And at the same time, I was getting really hectic period cramps. So I went to a gynecologist and he diagnosed me with polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is a very painful thing. So the stress of being in my final year of metallurgical engineering and the PCOS kind of just made my face explode with pimples. So I got to a point where I was putting on like apple cider vinegar almost every single day to kind of like just calm things down. I was buying whatever products I was like, you got acne, we'll help you fix your acne. Yeah, it got to that point. So and nothing was really working. So eventually I caved and I was like, it's fine. I'm gonna go to a dermatologist. So I went to Dr. D. Modi, Prof. D. Modi, and then he put me on Rakitane and he gives me like little injections for inflammation and stuff. Um, before I actually get into the products, I just want to say that please do not think that just because this worked for me, it's definitely going to work for you. Um, everybody has different skin, so what may work for me may break you out, or what may work for you gave me a breakout. So let's just get into the video. I figured I would start with what is prescribed to me by my dermatologist. So the I am on Rakitane. It's a very, very low dosage. So I'm on 10 milligrams a day. I think that is the lowest dosage that a person can have, but it's actually worked for me. So the first thing that he prescribed to me is pure soap. No, like literally it's, it's called pure soap. Um, so it's just a very simple, nothing but glycerin soap and it's got very minimal ingredients. So there's not a lot that can react with your face or irritate it. The next thing that he did prescribe was an SPF. I'd already been using the Dermalogica SPF 50, but I figured let's just go with what he recommends. And this is actually quite a good SPF. It is also pure, pure sun SPF 25. And that doesn't make your skin purple and that slight sticky consistency helps to just, you know, aid as a primer as well. So that is like really good. And then that's basically what I use in the morning. I'll wash my face, get out of the shower. And then the first thing that I use is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream. So this is for normal to oily skin types. So initially when I was on Rakuten, I was just like, want to replenish all the moisture on my skin so i'd initially started using coconut oil like almost every day not realizing that yes coconut oil is amazing but with the acne it was starting to irritate my skin and i noticed that my i was yes my face was super supple super hydrated but my pimples were not going anywhere and once i switched to this i did also see like a slight decrease or less inflammation of my face so this is, it's got a gel consistency. It absorbs into your skin super fast. Like I get out of the shower, put this on, and then within a few seconds, it is all absorbed in. And then I go in with my SPF. And then I just go with my makeup routine straight from that, which is my primer, my makeup, which you can see in my previous video. So don't forget to click that. So that's basically my morning products. And then as soon as I get home, I just want to get my makeup off my face, let it breathe. So I use micellar water. I mean, this is a miracle worker. It gets off the toughest of mascaras, eyeliners, and it also, like if you guys don't know, a little hack, you just put this on a little cotton pad and you can use it to clean your sneakers. Um, I've been using them on mine and it has been looking super shiny and super great. 
So that is what happens in the day. And then my nighttime routine is super simple. I wash my face in the shower, I come out, and then and before I put my night cream on, my dermatologist prescribed a little concoction. It is a 2% hydroquinone mix. So this is just to help with my marks and scarring. So I put this on every night. I haven't been using it for that long yet. So I will keep you guys updated on whether this is a hit or a miss. Um, it's prescribed by a dermatologist and mixed by a pharmacist. It's got like disparate in it and crazy stuff like that. But I hope it works because my marks are quite a lot. And then once that is like settled into my face before I go to bed, I use the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Night Cream. So this is formulated for sensitive skin. So I put this on at night just to help my skin calm down from the day. There's, you know, it's in contact with so many pollutants, so many different chemicals that are in the air. I touch, I do touch my face a lot, which is, I know, a very bad habit. And I need to stop doing it. But this just, you know, keeps everything calm. And then for my eyes, I use the Drops of Youth Youth Bouncy Eye Mask, also from The Body Shop. So this is just to hydrate underneath my eyes, keep it looking fresh and bright. And that's basically what I use day to day on a daily basis. The last category is stuff that you wouldn't use daily, but a few times a week just to keep your skin looking healthy and you know, just revitalizing it. So my favorite thing to use at least three times a week, um, most of the time I only get around to it like twice, it is the Drops of Light by The Body Shop. That is the range, it is a gel peel. So basically it exfoliates your skin. I'm gonna show you because I think it is super fun. Um, basically, this is just, okay, this is kind of gross to watch, but this is just any dead skin cells on my hand being removed in a super gentle way that does not irritate my skin. So normally, you know, you use brown sugar to exfoliate or coffee or something that kind of just really doesn't interact your skin, interact with your skin in a gentle way. I love doing this because it helps my skin look brighter, my skin is smoother, and it also makes my makeup go on a lot easier. And then the last few items are just masks that I think really help with your skin, help minimize pores, actually help, you know, calm everything down. So um, the first two that I'm gonna talk about are the Glam Glow masks. So I bought these on special. They were half price. I was like, ah, can't not get them. Um, honestly, I feel like once I peel this off, my skin, it really does what it says it does. So, you know, you literally do get your money's worth. My skin just looks brighter. My pores look smaller. I feel like I have contours, but you know, I really don't because chubby cheek gang but i really really do like these masks and they don't react with my skin they don't give me any breakouts so a plus to these and then the last three things are the freeman masks so this is a really great brand um each mask is only 92 rand and you could just check sometimes they are in special at discam so the first one is the renewing cucumber peel off gel mask this has got a bit of aloe in it, so it also just cools, cools, calms your skin down and it's peel off mask, which makes it great for any girl's night in. If you just wanna do it before you put your makeup on, really, really helps. Another mask that I also really like to use is the Revitalizing Pomegranate Peel Off Gel Mask. So this just makes you look young and fresh and like you just washed your face and your skin looks great and i'm being so dramatic right now but yeah totally love this and then the last one is this is one made for me guys considering how stressed out i am almost all the time it is the anti-stress dead sea minerals it is a clay mask 
So I don't use this one as much because clay masks do tend to dry your skin out a little bit more and Rakuten, Rakutane is already doing a lot of that to my skin. So, but it doesn't cause any breakouts when I do use it and my skin does look a lot healthier afterwards. So these are the products that are Kayla approved for acne prone skin and honestly just any combination to oily skin. I really like these products. If there's anything that you know I should be using, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell me if you tried any of these products and how it affected you, how it helped you. Yeah, see you guys next week. So that that the pub.